Starfall. Hey guys, welcome back to Starfall Sabers. My name is Nick. I wanted to show off a, uh, a saber that a customer had bought from me uh, about a year ago and she wanted to send it back to get it installed. So that's been done now and so this video will be the reveal and instructions for it. All right guys, so this is the Sabre that, uh, again, I built about a year ago, and um, a lot of my Sabres I build as empties that can be upgraded later, and so that's exactly what uh, my customer chose to do. Um, it was nice to get this Sabre back. I always really liked the aesthetics of it, uh, real clean and kind of gleaming looking with um, some nice etching here, the top shroud. So it has a nice uh, deep blade socket. My customer wanted a white uh, blade color with the saber. So you have the uh, activation box here, uh, single button ignition. This is running a, a Nano V4 with power extender. Uh, Vaderhead did the install on this. Um, the grip also has is vented for sound um, here and in the pommel. Uh, but because we have these vents going along uh, the back side of the grip, there's a, a cool little UV LED that uh, Vaderhead put in there that gives it a, a neat little look. So to power up the Sabre, you tap the power button. It'll wake it up from deep sleep mode. So one tap to do that. And this is running the Starfall collection of sound fonts. Tap it again to power it on. The saber is very bright and very loud. Power down the saber by pushing and holding the uh, power button. And you can see here this little UV light. Uh, when the when it's dim, when the lights are are off, you can really see it. Um, it's not really showing up on camera, but it adds like a cool effect through the vented slots here. Now to change the sound fonts, there's three um, on this Sabre. Uh, push and hold the power button until you hear the second beep, and then release. Celestial. So this is a Celestial. Has a very uh, light blue flash on clash. And then again to cycle, push and hold till you hear the second beep. Infinium. This is Infinium. This is my favorite of the three fonts. Very responsive. And push and hold to power it down. Um, if you push and hold uh, the power button for the first beep and release, it'll go into mute mode. We'll have all the lighting effects, but no sound. So if you're at a convention, um, it even has the flash effects. Um, you can conserve battery by not having the sound activated. Push and hold will um, reset it. So now when you tap it on, you're back. Now let me show you how to get access to uh, charge the Sabre. You have these two button head screws here. So always work over um, a flat surface where you can uh, find the screws if they fall. But you just back those out like so. And then you slide the whole uh, grip shroud off like so. You can kind of see that UV LED there. So this is how you'll get access to charge the Sabre. 
Uh, the charger and the blade are being shipped straight from my supplier to my customer. Now there's a little set screw right here which uh, holds the chassis nice and snug. Again, Baderhead uh, 3D prints all the chassis custom to each Sabre. Um, if you want to get access to the SD card, you would back this uh, uh, set screw out and then just uh, gently slide the chassis out and you'll get access uh, to the SD card and you can change the sound fonts as needed. So you just want to line these up here. Kind of want to get them started first, and then once they're both in, then you can snug them up. You don't, don't need to over tighten these or get them real tight. Just snug, and there's no play there. One more turn. There we go. So there you have it. That's uh, the basic instruction on how to operate uh, this custom saber. As always, feel free to give me a follow on Instagram, like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you at the next reveal. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.